Today I'm going to be talking to you about another one of my favorite artists, probably artist number number three on my list, maybe. Right after goes Tom McFarlane, Ben Tumblesmith, and most likely Ryan Otley, or Rotley, as some people like to call him. The most noticeable of his work is this image comic book series called Invincible, about a young man named Mark Grace who finds out he's pretty much he's Superman's son, but then he finds out Superman was a dick and sent there to take over the planet. So he becomes a superhero to stop his dad. Things escalate from there. Oh man, it's so good. Hold on, let me find some good, let me find some good paneling. Oh, but look at that artwork really quick. Look at that. Oh man. It's like classic superhero artwork and it just blows my mind. Oh man. Where's the scene? Where's the part? Oh no. Come on, Blake, you gotta find it. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Oh man. Hold up. His dad are fighting because he finds out his dad's the evil one. Look at that. It's bloody, it's gory, the superheroes are super powerful. Invincible Volume 2. Oh, same great stuff. Oh, man. Punching a dude's heart in. Oh, God. Such good stuff. Oh, man. There's aliens. There's cyborgs. There's zombies. There's, you know, the elephant, which is a ripoff of Rhino. There's, like, oh, man. Just stuff after stuff after stuff. There's, like, a Batween character called, like, Darkween, and then he killed people. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh. Number three. Let's Number three is actually quite smaller. Oh yeah, he fights this guy whose brain gets really big and he's super smart and teleport like Armstrong. Look at that. Look at that greatness of a comic book. The colors pop so violently. Which leads me to Violence and Pigtails, volume three. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, volume three. His art book. They may be thinking, what is going on with this cover? There's a barbaric man of pigtails writing a bi... a bi cyclops crown or whatever? It's got one eye but two unicorn horns? Bicorn? It's a cyclops bicorn. Look at that artwork. Look how amazing this is. I got this from him in Comic-Con. Oh man. Oh look, he drew the Max. You guys remember that? Let's start from the beginning, Blake here. Ooh, getting too excited. There's some Invincible and some something else. Great stuff. One of my favorite characters, Invincible, who I have yet to really read about, but Battle Beast? Giant cow like a mace? Oh, sold. Just look at it, man. Every drawing's like this. It's just smackdowns and beatdowns and blood and just ripped muscular dudes. Just freaking, it's like comic book city. Oh, man. Where is that? I don't even know who that's supposed to be, but it's like a rhino guy. I like it. I love it. Ryan Ollie, you're awesome. Now you might be thinking, Ryan Ollie does only serious work. You'd be dead wrong. Grizzly shark. What the hell is Grizzly shark? Grizzly shark is a bunch of sharks who live out in the woods and they swim around and kill people in trees. Like, uh, yeah, look at that guy. He got eight. But sharks who live on land. And you know how they beat him? Or they try to beat him? They throw him in the water. Or they get him into the water where he fights Sea Bear, which is an underwater bear. That SmackDown fight is like the funniest thing I've ever read. Look at that stuff. Look at it. It's just bloody nonsense gore galore. And oh man, look at that. You can't beat it. Oh. So good. Another little art book he did called They Bite. I think he gave this one out for like five bucks at his booth. Pretty good stuff in there too. Don't want to show you that one. But I want to talk about a comic book that he kind of helped on for a little bit. I don't remember much what he did, but he definitely did do... He did the pencils, it looks like. Hot. Made by... Who are these people? Robert Kirkman, the guy from Walking Dead? Todd McFarlane, Ryan Ollie, and Greg Capullo? These books are freaking amazing. You know what? Look at this. Check out Haunt. Check out Ryan Otley. Check out Invincible. Check out literally any piece of his work and your mind's gonna be blown. He's one of the greatest artists and I freaking love his art. I saw an Invincible comic book. Didn't have his artwork in it. I almost didn't pick it up. I was like, get, get away from me. Get away from me. That's not Ryan Otley. That's not Ryan Otley. That's not Rotley. He's fantastic. I love his art. I love all his work. I highly recommend Invincible. It's a great comic book. I definitely recommend just looking up his art. He's on Facebook. It's all fantastic. But he does like, like on all the superheroes, he likes to put a little blood on them. <sighs> he makes superheroes look like, like gods. Oh, 
Ryan Otley, check him out. Stay tuned for another episode of For Your Entertainment.